The war in Ukraine continues to rage and the Russian forces continue to escalate their attacks. The French President Emmanuel Macron has now urged Europe to be ready if Russia were to escalate further. In a televised interview, Emmanuel Macron said that if Russia wins this war in Ukraine, then the credibility of European power will be reduced to zero. While addressing his comments to the French opposition leaders, Emmanuel Macron also said that the decision to block support to Ukraine will not choose peace, rather it would choose defeat. Now, earlier in the week, the opposition party Marie Le Pen had abstained from voting about a security pact that France signed with Ukraine. Meanwhile, a left-wing party had voted against it. Now, the French leader said that if Europe draws red lines today, then it will send a message of weakness to Kremlin, which would eventually encourage the Russian forces to push on with its invasion of Ukraine. However, Macron also refused to comment on what a deployment to Ukraine might actually look like, as he says that France will never initiate an offensive against Russia. Last month, remarks that were made by Emmanuel Macron had resulted in a big controversy after he said that France would not rule out the deployment of French ground troops in Ukraine in the future. Now, soon after his comments reached other Western leaders, they quickly distanced themselves from Macron's views. But this has come after the Russian Defense Ministry stated that its forces had eliminated about 147 of the 256 French mercenaries that are fighting against Russia in the battle fields of Ukraine. The Russian Defense Ministry further added that overall the Russian forces have eliminated as many as about 6,000 foreign mercenaries so far who were fighting on behalf of Ukraine. The NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg has said that Ukraine is in fact running out of ammunition, while further adding that NATO members are not doing enough to help Kiev. The fact that uh, the Russians are able to outgun uh, the uh, uh, Ukrainians every day, of course, is a huge challenge. It's one of the reasons why the Russians have been able to uh, make some advances on the battlefield over the last uh, weeks and, uh, and, uh, and months. And, uh, uh, and therefore, it is uh, an urgent need for allies to make the decisions necessary uh, to uh, step up, provide more ammunition to Ukraine. The Stoltenberg's comments have come amidst NATO's largest military exercises since the Cold War. As many as about 90,000 troops from the United States and fellow NATO military allies took part in the steadfast Defender 2024 drills. But the exercises started in late January and are expected to run through May all over Europe. In terms of the environment, uh, the weather is different. Uh, the weather patterns, both in terms of water temperatures, uh, in terms of the undersea environment, uh, winds, snow, it, it is a different environment. And to understand the Arctic, we have to work in the Arctic. And so the ability to have forces here working in the Arctic really increase our overall readiness as a NATO force. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.